comradeship that was born amid steaming jungle swamps was renewed at the Albert Hall when more than 4,000 veterans of the campaign celebrated the 9th Burma reunion. The guest of honour was the Duke of Edinburgh. He was accompanied by Admiral Earl Mountbatten of Burma, leader of that victorious campaign, and the Countess. Addressing the gathering, Earl Mountbatten invited them to pay tribute to absent friends and comrades. Over the graves of those who fell in the Battle of Kohima, I remember seeing an inscription which went as follows. When you go home, tell them of us and say, for your tomorrow, we gave our today. And I want to suggest that you should stand for a few moments in memory of those who gave there today. Silent homage to British and Commonwealth troops who'd advanced over a thousand miles to triumph over a ruthless enemy and the most savage jungle conditions. Then, continuing his speech, Earl Mountbatten introduced one of the earliest members of the Burma Star Association. He isn't really a guest because he is himself the holder of the Burma Star, which he thoroughly well earned in the destroyers in the Eastern Fleet in Siak. So I now ask the Duke of Edinburgh to speak to you. <laughs> Half time. <laughs> well, ladies and gentlemen, uh, to begin with, I want to make it quite clear uh, that I am a very bogus member of the Burma Star Association. Uh, I've never been to Burma. I've never even seen the place, <laughs> <coughs> let alone tried to fight there. And by all accounts, uh, the fighting was quite something. I can't say that I'm sorry that uh, I didn't get to Burma. As a matter of fact, uh, I'm not particularly fond of rain. And I understand that umbrellas were frowned upon. You fought in Burma as if the world depended on you. And make no mistake, a very great portion of the world did depend on you. And that will also not be forgotten. And now the world has turned to peaceful ways. And no one is more thankful than those who fought in the last war. We all want to live in peace, even if... Uh, some of our memories of the war are rosier than others, and that sometimes uh, life was uh, more fun than it is now. <laughs> there are many ways in which we can help to ensure a peaceful future, the, but, but the most important is to make it quite clear to any budding international gangsters that they will get the same treatment as the last lot. I hope you all enjoy yourselves finding old friends and fighting old battles. And I, I only hope the bear lasts out. Good night. <laughs>